found another rattlesnake. This one. It's everyday life for me, y'all. Every single day. Coming closer. You wanna come see what I'm about? It's all good. Come on. Come to Papa. There you go. Come on. You can come closer. I ain't gonna hurt you. This every day for me, y'all. <laughs> it's always an adventure. All right. Just wanted to show y'all this black widow I just found. See the hourglass. I just wanted to show y'all that hourglass on her stomach. It's a female black widow. They have a venom that's very similar to rattlesnake venom. I got her turned on her back. That's how you know this is a highly toxic black widow. Their venom is very similar to rattlesnake venom. They have like a hemotoxic venom that will destroy your blood cells. So this is a black widow, female black widow. It's finding these races. Yellow belly racer. This one is a little bit bigger than the last one I caught. And I'm only wearing these gloves to avoid thorns. These snakes are not harmful at all. This is a baby toad, male. A big male too. See, see I'm barking, males bark. That's how you can tell the difference between male and female. Right, juvenile racer number three, the third racer I found in three days. I keep finding these racers, juvenile racers everywhere. And and I'm wearing the gloves because of thorn bushes, not because of the snake. He's a little baby snake with small teeth. His teeth will not hurt me. And he didn't even try to bite me. But this is a yellow belly racer, juvenile. Juvenile California king snake I just caught. I'm excited about this. Caught another juvenile alligator lizard. Southern alligator lizard. Common species we have out here. Pacific gopher snake. Common species. Found another California toad. I believe this one is a female because she's not barking. Common toad I keep finding. It's official. This place is full of racers. Don't be surprised that I found another baby juvenile yellow belly racer western yellow belly racer who like this one is growing see when, when they get older they start to lose the patterns see how this one is starting to lose the patterns this one is a little bit well he's still a baby but his spots are not defined like the other ones i caught but yeah this is a, another now baby yellow belly racer Look at these two California newts I just found. But two California newts. All right, this is the yellow-eyed Incitina. So this is a salamander, not a newt. It's a baby Incitina salamander. What their defense is, they mimic the California newts, the poisonous newts. They look just like them. But if, as you see, they have little spots. So this is spotted Incitina. They have the yellow eyes and everything, just like the uh, California newts with the orange bellies. But this is the juvenile baby one. He gets nervous, he will release a poisonous, um, you know, slime, but he's not deadly. This will make you sick if you eat it, but the poisonous newt will kill you if you eat it. Like the poisonous dart frog. This is just a semi-toxic newt, I mean salamander, excuse me. I'm getting confused myself. Right, so this is the arboreal salamander. This is a uh, species that likes to climb. They climb trees. You can find them in trees or you can find them on the ground. They have a little aggressive bite. They have sharp teeth. And this one is a very small one. Where you going, little homie? Where you going? This is a juvenile. He's still a baby. Um, they're semi-toxic. They're not as they, they're not as toxic as the newts. But the salamanders, they do have a toxin, you know. They can make you sick or make an animal sick if, if eaten, but it's not deadly like the, uh, like the newt. So this is the boreal salamander. He's trying to get up out of here, so 
I'm going to uh, let him go about his way, put him back under the log where I found him. But this is this is a salamander I haven't covered in a while. I just wanted to record him. But if you scroll down, I have a large arboreal salamander so you can see what they look like. So scroll down farther if you want to see what they look like when they're adults. They actually have little pit bull heads when they get older. They have big jaws. So this is the arboreal salamander. Forest scorpion. Up close, up close and personal with the forest scorpion. Oh yeah, that's a pregnant female. So this is the forest scorpion. Look at this female, Calisoga spider. False tarantula. She's big. I'm about to get her to spread out so you can see how big she is. Look at her, look. She went into defense posture. Look at her. See that? She go attack, watch this. Watch her attack the stick, look. She's gonna bite. These are vines straight out of the movie Tarzan. Uh, real vines you can swing from from tree to tree long vines the perfect habitat for the California newts they love little small rivers like this with little pockets of water I bet you it's a lot of them at the bottom of this water right here Northern Pacific rattlesnake right here in East Oakland and right here in East Oakland look what I just found another rattlesnake he's over here sleeping wake him up it's a den right here actually but I just wanted to wake him up he went back in his den I just wanted to show y'all it's right here in East Oakland Another spot that I come look for rattlesnakes. It's a den right here that nobody knows about. Right off of Skyline Boulevard. Juvenile alligator lizard. Little small alligator lizard with its little tail. Right here. East Oakland found another large rattlesnake. Just wanted to get him to coil up real quick just, just for a picture. I'm going to let him go about his business. But yeah, another rattlesnake right here in East Oakland. Just came to come check on the rattlesnake den. So I found a breeding pair. Northern Pacific rattlesnakes. I'm not going to bother them. I'm going to leave them alone. But I just wanted to see how, how they were doing. You see how they're not rattling? They're, they rely on their camouflage. As soon as you touch them, they'll start rattling. They learn to rely on their um, silence and camouflage because farmers kill them all the time when they rattle. So they learn to be quiet and they hope that they go unseen. But yep, that's the Northern, that's the, uh, Northern Pacific rattlesnake and how they're evolving into a silent species. There's another little rattler by himself over here chilling underneath this tent pretty common in my little secret spot out here in the bay found another rattlesnake this one is a little more this one's a little lighter see how he darted off like that yeah this one i had the restraint because he was a little thrasher but I'm not putting no pressure on them. I'm just, I'm using minimal force. I'm just holding them down. But look, he over here going crazy to see the young ones be hyped. Damn, here go another one I almost stepped on. Yeah, they all over the place. Yeah, little bruh, I almost stepped on you. Look, I got on tennis shoes, no boots. Gotta be careful. There's another rattle. Yeah, rattlesnakes are definitely thriving in this area. Y'all see this big pregnant female? Well, the perfect term for pregnant for a snake is grab it. So she's grab it. Got a belly full of um, babies. They actually give live birth, so they hatch the eggs on the inside. But this is a big pregnant female. I'm looking at how thick her tail is. That's how I can tell. And she definitely got some babies in there. 
so she should be giving birth within the next month or so. Uh, within the next few weeks, maybe. But look at that large rattlesnake going in the den. See how big she is? Oh yeah, that's a big girl. And this right here is called tapping a rattlesnake on his head. Snake tap. Right there, I'm about to put him back in. I did this without no snake, snake hooks. See, put him right back in. Oh, he got a meal. He just snatched up a meal. Now he's running over the hill with it. 